Hey everybody, Ryan here with Scheller Family Experience. We're here with our moto trailer. We're gonna give you a look at inside it and how we got it laid out and everything that we do uh, for this trailer. It's uh, It's been great, we've had it for a little over a year and a half. It's a 16 foot easy haul, all aluminum, uh, tandem axle, and then it's got like a two foot Vino. So works out great for us. Um, a lot of guys uh, go with 20 footers. I really did want a 20 footer. I wanted a 20 by eight because uh, I can haul my cars in it. This one is a, a seven and a half wide and it's also taller. They order it for people with razors. So it does fit my razor really nicely. I haven't put one of my Mustangs in it yet. I measured it, it should fit, but it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be hard to strap in there, but come on in the trailer and uh, let me show you around. All right guys, coming up the ramp. So I did paint everything. Everything you see here is painted. Uh, it was just bare wood. Here's a, a quick time lapse of it, of uh, me painting everything inside. So let's start at the bottom. I laid down the uh, coin floor, the rubber coin floor. I glued it down with a glue and then trimmed it out in aluminum. So the aluminum I got locally at Lowe's, the coin floor and the glue, the coin floor I ordered off of Amazon. And of course the links for everything are in the description. I did E-Track, the E-Track is bolted through with nuts and bolts and washers. And then this is like an aluminum trim for like linoleum and carpet that I painted with uh, bed liner spray to cover up the bolts. You can see how the bolts are over there. So that's all I did there. Trimmed it out in aluminum with just self tappers. Floor came out pretty nice, a little dirty. So I E-tracked the walls. Those just have self tappers in there. I got some nice uh, easy chocks. I'm getting ready to get some more of these and uh, I'm actually gonna put a bracket on them to gap them out so they can drop down over this. Uh, this is the cool bench. comes out so the kids can sit in it moving on up here just a uh, nice strap holder I've got some wheel chocks and of course broom and shovel now one of the other ways that I put the bike so I put the bikes in like this going against the wall like this uh, I've also got some wheel chocks I'll show you them right here that I can put in here in the E-Track. And those work out nice. I can get a lot more bikes in here by doing it on the wall E-Track versus it this way. And then also when I do it on the wall, I don't have the wheel chocks to deal with. So going right along, this is just your standard like uh, garage or um, closet stuff, but the standard one doesn't really hold up. This, yeah, I zip tied it even. I made it a little stronger. I'm gonna end up fabricating a whole shelf that holds these. Now I like the, the tubs because I can pull the tub down. I've got my 65 and one used to be 50. So it's 65s and then just parts. And then if I'm going in the van or something, I have them. Moving right along, we got our smudge pot for those uh, cold nights and days. I've got our 10 by 15 and our 10 by 10 easy up, our mats. Nice cabinet here. Top, I got my air filters and stickers. These shelves work out great for helmets. They're actually toolbox shelves for toolboxes. They work out great up there. Of course, we got our toolbox. I've got a, a solar panel charger for my battery. Down here, I've got the my generator speaker for some music and when the uh the pits have fm transmitted uh announcing i got my pressure washer cords battery air compressor my uh, garbage starting blocks and some triangles and then of course my air hose on over to our umbrellas for those hot or rainy days and this shelf here i also built everything so moving right along over here we got our gas jugs, gas holder. It holds three jugs, but like I've got my uh, antifreeze down there as well. 
Now this whole box I put in here, this wasn't in here. So I put this in here, I've got USB for charging like our transponders, things like that. Um, I wired in all of the lights overhead. So I've got these lights that I added and I wired in outside lights. So let's come out here. We've got one right there, one right there, and then two across the back. I also did underglow, so I got LED underglow all underneath this. So here I got all my chemicals. This is nice. Breaks down, contains the nuts and bolts if you're working on something like a carburetor. Nice little phone holders right here. Paper towels, it, it was really windy at the last race. Helmet holder, so the helmets sit here. Goggles, goggles hold here. My starting line backpack, so my backpack with uh, tools and parts that I need on the starting line. Uh, pit board. And then uh, the boys will hang like their bicycle helmets there. This is my goggle station. Also when I'm working on bikes uh, in here, I can put tools in it, but I can, I've got my goggle spray, my lenses, tear offs, tires so here's my hose for this is for when i want to pressure wash bikes so this just hooks in right there and then that goes out to my pressure washer there's where i fill it in For my pressure washer, what I did is I put in a 35 gallon tank and mounted it between the axles with some metal straps. Just kind of used some uh, foam in between and then wired in the 12 volt pump to that electrical panel that I have that I come off the battery. So it worked out really nice. It, uh, I, I did have another tank in here that I did gravity fed and of course took up space in the trailer. So this works out really nice. I turned that on, pumps out. 35 gallons with the Craftsman pressure washer, I can wash five or six bikes, uh, depending on how muddy they are. So typically I'm just washing two or three bikes, but if we have a multi-day race, then yes, I'm washing more times. But this trailer's worked out really nice, nice and lightweight for us. Uh, I'm getting ready to upgrade the power because this battery that I have in here, it uh, only lasted me about a year and so, I didn't have anything charging on. What I do is I'd run a trickle charger on it at the tracks, but it kind of didn't work. So it, it, it took a dump on me just recently. So I'm gonna order a new battery. It's an AGM battery. They're super temperamental. And I'm gonna put a solar panel on the roof and actually have it so it's always getting charged because AGM batteries always like to be fully charged. They don't like to get depleted at all because they'll sulfate. So I'm actually only at like 10 volts right now on that battery and it's just not holding up. So that's our trailer. That's pretty much everything. Um, hope you guys liked it. Hopefully it gave you some ideas of stuff to do in your trailer. This works out really good. The black E-Track we love. You know, I <sighs> holds the tires up there. Um, you know, the spare tire I added. That's pretty much it for our trailer. So Hope you liked it and uh, leave us a comment. Make sure you hit subscribe and smash that like button. Thanks guys for watching. And uh, I'll have a, a tour of our pit and a tour of our motovan here coming up soon. Thanks guys. See ya.